Let's look at the planned maintenance you'll complete every 250 service hours. Required service varies by machine, but here's what to expect for a CAT 299D3 compact track loader. Before you get started though, check your operation and maintenance manual for proper safety procedures and always wear appropriate personal protective equipment. First, move your machine to a dry level surface. Remove the bucket and raise the lift arms, locking them in place. Put your machine in park, lower implements to the ground, and lock out the hydraulics. Walk around your machine to look for any leaks, rust, or other damage. For all maintenance, you can order everything you need at parts.cat.com. Enter your machine serial number to see which parts you need for your machine. This is also where you can find the self-service options for your equipment. SSOs provide detailed service instructions and recommended parts and tooling. Now, let's go through how to complete your 250-hour planned maintenance, also known as PM1. First, take the engine oil sample for SOS Services Fluid Analysis. Be sure to fill out the label for your sample before sending it to the lab. To inspect the engine belt, loosen the fasteners and remove the guard. Inspect the belt's condition and adjustment. Refer to your OMM to find the proper measurement between the alternator pulley and crankshaft pulley. If it needs to be adjusted, loosen the mounting and adjusting bolts. Then move the alternator until the correct tension is reached. You can find steps for checking belt tension and the alternator SSO instructions. Tighten the bolts, recheck the belt tension, and then reinstall the guard. The process is the same if your machine is equipped with an air conditioning belt. And if you see any damage on the belts, replace them according to the instructions in your OMM. To check the final drive oil level, position one final drive so the drain plug is at the bottom. Remove the oil check plug and check that the level is near the bottom of the plug opening. Add oil if needed. Make sure the plug's O-ring is in good condition and reinstall the plug. Repeat these steps on the other final drive. Your final task is inspecting and adjusting your rubber tracks. To check tension, lift one track 50 millimeters or two inches off the ground. Measure the sag from the middle roller and check whether that value is in range in your OMM. If the tension needs to be adjusted, open the panel on the undercarriage. To relax tension, release some grease from the fitting. To tighten tension, pump grease into the fitting. Make sure all bolts are tight and in good condition and repeat these steps on the other track. For more information and support, contact your CAD dealer and always check your operation and maintenance manual for specific instruction and safety procedures.